In this video, we'll see about the export requirements. Suppose I have the HP ALM on my place, but if I want to export the requirements into some other format, let's say HTML or Excel file, I can use the option as export requirements. But export requirement has some limitation. You can only export the requirements when you're in the requirements grid view. If you're in some other view, let's say requirement tree or requirement details, you cannot send the or you cannot export those requirements. So let us see practically how do we export the requirements. Now to export the requirements onto some other location, you first need to change the view. Right now, if you observe on the screen, we are on the requirements tree view. So if you go to view menu bar, currently this is selected that is requirements tree view. First, you need to change into requirements grid view. So I'll select this requirements grid view. Now there are two options to export. Either you can export the selected requirement, this one, or you can export all the requirements. So how do you get the option here to export? Simply right click on any requirement and you'll be getting the option as export. You can export all the requirements or you can export the selected requirement that is contact. If you see at the back end, contact requirement is selected, but I'm very much interested in exporting all the requirements. So I'll select the option as export all and then I'll be getting a dialog box. I'll select the option as desktop because I want to store on the desktop location and the name I'll say as exported requirements. What is the type of file do you want? So it gives you the option for saving as XLSX, Excel file of the previous version .xls or the different options which you can see. But right now I want to store in the form as .xlsx. Click on save button and the file would be saved on the desktop. So if I just minimize this screen and if you see here export completed successfully, I'll just click on OK. Minimize this window and if you see here, that's an exported requirement. I'll just double click and try to see what requirements have been exported here. Right. So if you observe here, I'm getting only those requirements which were visible on the screen. And if you observe here, there's requirement ID, name, direct cover status, author and priority. Now, if I want multiple columns like here, the assigned date or created date or a created time. So if I want multiple columns in my Excel file, what you have to do is you have to make sure you bring multiple columns in the ALM itself in the QC. So if you bring multiple columns and when you export the same user interface will be visible into your Excel file, this Excel file itself. Now, if you want, you can just modify some changes into this requirement document in Excel file and you can import it again also. Right. So I hope you're able to understand how do you export all the requirements from your requirements view or you can say as the requirements grid view onto your desktop or some other location. That's all for this video.